by age 41, 80% of those children no longer had ADD. So here's the strongest evidence against ADD, course of illness, especially adult ADD. Because the concept of adult ADD is that they, people will have the condition when they're children and then it persists when they're adults. Now, if you look at the literature before about 2000, when the first medication came out for so-called adult ADD, atomoxetine or Stratera, there's good reviews that show over 10 studies prospectively that about 90% of patients uh, no longer had ADD after progressing from childhood to adulthood, meaning they had diagnosed with it before age 18, but they were not diagnosable with it at about age 18 or above. The other one followed eight-year-olds to age 41, 33 years perspective follow-up. So when they're eight years old, they're defined as having ADD, they have it, and they're defined as not having ADD, they don't have it. The researchers are actually assessing the children and they either have or don't have ADD. They then spend 33 years following them up prospectively. Now that's an awful hard thing to do and that's a lot of hard research. 